All right. Are you ready to start with the first act? But yeah. just We're going to start with Karen. Karen's done a couple of these acts before. Yeah! All the way from Mexico, from Mexico, is Karen. The first dirty talk she did, she was known for loving her vagina. The second one, for moaning. And this time, I don't know what she's going to bring out, but let's do a nice big moan for Karen to get her on stage. Let's all moan! but that moan was kind of pathetic. I mean, I really moaned hard last time, so can we do one? Get it in together, okay? We're gonna do a, a deep, a deep vaginal moan, okay? Okay. One, two, three. Oh. I wanna see the guys there. I didn't see the guys doing anything. You guys are just like... Come on, guys, come on, okay. One, I'm looking at you. One, to follow up, I'm also looking at you right there. One, two, three. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you guys. So, who here thinks that they had the longest commute to get here? You're like, what the fuck? Seriously, Santa Cruz? Who here thinks that it was the longest? Raise your hand, proudly. We want to celebrate your commitment. Okay, okay, okay. Over here. Oh, I think you're going to win. I, I see some foreigners here. I think they're going to... Okay. <laughs> Wait, let, let, me give, let me give other people a chance to think that they can win. Okay, in the back there. What's your name? Where? Australia. Okay, how long was your flight? 20 hours. Okay, good. Can anyone compete with 20 hour flights? Oh my god, from where? From New York, 24 hour flight. Anyone? Indians, I'm sorry. I, I really wanted you guys. <laughs> it's not possible. Sir. Okay, okay, guys. Well, thank you for your commitment, but I, I gotta say that I beat all of you because I just flew in last night, 28 hours. And I'm so happy to be here. And you know, ever since I moved to India, it's been. um. A year and a half, like a year and a baby, like a year and nine months. A year and nine months ago, I moved here, and it's been about two or three times that I've come back and forth. And this time that I came, <laughs> that I came, no, but, and this time when I was coming back, I remembered the first time when I came to India, and I, I gotta be very honest with you, I was really scared about not finding women. I was really scared about my love life. No, no, I'm not kidding. I'm not, it's not a joke. I was, I was talking to my American friends and I would say, I'm moving to India. And they would be like, oh my God, it's awesome. And then, and then about 10 seconds later, it would sink in. And they'd be like, sweet, that's wonderful, but you know you're a lesbian, right? You see, that's when you know that your friends really care about you and they, they are looking out for your best interest. My best friend, she looked at me and, and I was hoping for, you know, a moment of, of connection. You know, I thought she was going to say, will you find love there? Will you find a companion? Someone to, to hold you at night? You know what that bitch said? Are you gonna have sex there? <laughs> They're kind of conservative, you know? And I told my Mexican friends, and I am Mexican, I'm sorry to disappoint you. My girlfriend herself is like, you don't look Mexican. And your accent, I'm sorry, but Sofia Vergara is way hotter oh than you. So, I'm sorry if I'm disappointing any of you. I am Mexican. Anyway. So, I mean, I'm sorry I'm not sorry. It's fine. In Mexico, we have this tradition where Every year in October, we celebrate the dead. And we're very clever, us Mexicans. We call it, guess what? The Day of the Dead. We really thought hard about that one. Anyway, so every year, you get to commemorate um, any dead person that you want. And you have an altar with seven steps, you know, representing sins. 
I mean, I don't know how this pagan tradition got into Catholicism, but whatever. Um, so you have these steps. And then you can choose on any dead person that you want to honor. So my best friends were like, you know what, Karen, that's great for you. Don't worry about it. We'll make sure to pay tribute to your sex life in our next altar. <laughs> so yeah, I was, I was really worried. But you know, I, I dealt with it. I said, you know what? These two years are going to be about introspection, reflection. I'm going to be by myself. I mean, I've been in relationships for like seven years, right? So I was like, the time has come, I was going to do yoga, I was going to go all like, eat, pray, love about it, right? <laughs> well, what ended up happening wasn't quite that, you see. I mean, it's been really good. <laughs> or let's just say, there are lesbians in Bombay. <laughs> so, I came here and I was determined to find those gays. So I, I did what any educated person who has been trained in high academic research would do. I went on Google. <laughs> and, and I typed in lesbians in Mumbai. <laughs> oh, you won't believe <laughs> the things that came up. Oh, let me just tell you. Mobile, 93224-1719. Title, only for decent housewives and lonely girls. 27 years old, Mumbai. Looking female, not looking for female, no. Looking female for hot encounter and relationship. Me knows all the games and techniques. Satisfaction guaranteed. So I went to the next one. Title, looking for a bisexual girl or woman. 33 years old, West Bengal. Kolkata handsome gentleman is looking for a beautiful bisexual girl or woman for friendship and perhaps more. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Hi, I'm from Chennai. I like to drink your pussy water. trying. I was persistent. So there was, oh my god, oh my god, there's a hole there, guys. I'm gonna fall. Okay, there was another one that said, for lesbians in your area, just dial 888-8888. Just dial. I called. They had no idea what I was talking about. So, you know, I realized that my little Google schemes weren't gonna work out. I had to improvise. So, I went on Facebook. And I know you guys are all on Facebook because I checked your profiles. You see, and this is where it gets really it gets really interesting. I discovered that there are secret lesbian groups. Societies almost. It's like an unknown, it's like a known secret. So I you know I posted in all of them, I was very naive. I was like, hi, I'm Karen, I'm from I'm new here, I'm from Mexico, I'd love to meet people. <laughs> I started getting friend requests from people I didn't even know, had met, heard of, and frankly, I wasn't even sure they were real. Oh, shit. Mystic. Shit. Oh. It's okay, guys, it's okay. <laughs> Deep breath, you got, you're fine? You're fine, okay. That's how I felt when I started getting these friend requests. I was like, oh! Mystic Mind wants to be your friend. Deep Mist has added you. Whispering Willows would like to talk to you. Enig Posmatic has, has a friend request pending. Honestly, I think the lesbians in Mon Mumbai, Bombay, Mumbai, they must be very angelical. Because seriously, I must have gotten at least 30 angels that wanted to be my friend. Angel, oh my god, there were all size shapes and forms. There were even some scary angels. Lucifer's angel? Not accepting that one. I noticed that some lesbians like to embrace everyday consumption products like like bubblegum or, or cookies, 
So, Chick Leg Chopra. Mushroom, Tutti Frutti, and yes, Hippie Honey. <laughs> there are some people who are in the musical and emotional category, you know, very nice. I, I, I thought these girls would be really nice. Um, music Puppy Love, Moody Love, Moody Crab, Melodious Aura. And, and then there's the self-promotion category. These girls are smart. They know they have to market. It's a tough competition out there. Um, good Listener. <laughs> Jen Aniston. <laughs> and, and finally, there's the, the let's describe things category. Pink Delhi, Blue Hyderabad, you know, Purple, <laughs> Mo purple Mumbai. So, you know. I joined these groups and finally, I have to screen them, right? And finally, I, I found out about a party. So I was like, I need to bring my A game to this. This is my chance. So I went there and usually when I introduce myself to people, I'm like, Hi, my name is Scott and I'm from Mexico and it's great, but I was like, no, this is the moment. So instead of just doing it as I usually do, I decided that I was gonna watch how other lesbians, how real Mumbaikers were doing it. So I watched and there was this encounter and this lady comes up to another girl and she's like, hey, what was your name? Uh-oh. You know what she said? Sweetie. If you can't remember my name, then it's not worth it. Oh. So, I think some women in this community, they, um, I love you girls, but you know, some women think that they're young divas or celebrities. So for example, I was dancing with this, I found a girl, I did, I did. I found a girl and, and we were dancing, we were playing, we we're playing, we we're, we're just dancing. <laughs> We're just dancing, not yet, not yet. We we're just dancing, it was really nice. And and then I, I think she I think it's going well, so I decide to make a move. So I, I asked her, hey, would you like me to, to get you a drink? And here's the thing. In the United States, when you do that, it means you're gonna come with me and we're gonna go together. <laughs> to, together. You know, we're we're escaping from the crowd. You know what this little princess did? <laughs> she was like, yes, I'd love to. And she stayed there. Her majesty was, wanted me to just come and bring her a free beer. I mean, whatever, I mean, it worked out. I just grabbed her and I was like, you're coming with me. And that was the end of it, whatever. So yeah, when I came to India, I was worried. And I thought that it was gonna be two years of celibacy and introspection. And and that lasted for about, you know, maybe, I mean, I can't remember, but two months. It really, two months. And you know, that girl from that, that hookup, it, it was going to be a hookup, right? But then, you know, it's a hookup gone wrong. It's been 19 months now, whatever, we live together. And, 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 no, and the question really, guys, sir, I mean, I was determined when I came here. So... How did she do it? Aww. How did she, I mean, it could be cute. <laughs> no, really, was it that? Like, how did she manage to seduce me and, and crush my adventurous conqueror's desires? So, it could be her diversity. I mean, after all, before her, I'd only been with two Mexican girls saying I needed to branch out, <laughs> see the world a little bit. It's not... <laughs> It's not that she's gorgeous, although she is. Don't get it wrong. But but that's that's not it. It could be her skill level. I mean, <laughs> I mean, after all, uh, the Kama Sutra was invented in India. I think. I know what it was. What it really was that got me interested in her is that she spiked my drink. Thank you.